Hola! After today's uh, exciting serial video, Kim and Girl and I are going to switch over to the Patreon, our Patreon page, and we're going to uh, shoot a video, a very exciting video, of us talking nonsense while I cook leftovers. And we'll see how that goes, but uh, maybe that'll be a thing if I can get enough people over on Patreon who are interested in watching that kind of stuff. Uh, and we got our old videos up over there and all kinds of stuff. So um, if you like what we do, you know, join us over on Patreon. And, uh, you know, if you don't, that's okay because there's cereal uh, happening right here. Cereal has become a big part of our lives. Huh? <laughs> we never eat cereal, but for some reason... We, saw, we find ourselves today with three boxes of cereal. Here's what Camera Girl has been buying. This is like your second box or third box since we've been in Ecuador? It was in an Airbnb and there are, have been moments when I add some nuts to it and almond milk. Yeah, she adds nuts to this here, but I made fun of her because I said granola. I mean, that's candy, right? It is candy. It is candy. But, but... It, most cereals are candies disguised as breakfast. Yeah, you don't want to eat them for breakfast. You don't? Well, we don't. Well, and we rarely do, although lately we've been getting this here, and I've been ridiculing Camera Girl because of that, and yet we've been going to this little chocolateria-type place. Yep, you're jumping the gun. You're, you're, uh, you're stepping on my lines. <laughs> it's called Picari, and we've been going in there, and we've been getting coffee and treats and everything, but where we sit in there, and I look up where they got all the chocolate for sale, and there is a box of chocolate cornflakes. Oh my lord. And it has been calling to me. Every time we go in there and I look across the room and I see up on this top shelf this box of cornflakes. So I thought we would give it a try today and see if it's as terrible as it has to be. No, you want to go back to your childhood. That's true. I mean, who doesn't want to go back to their childhood? But I mean, I hated this kind of stuff when I was a kid. You said you didn't like... You, wait a minute. There I thought you a, had there, Captain Crunch. No, no, no. Captain Crunch wasn't a chocolate cereal. Uh, Count Chocula. Yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. Count Chocula? Is that still a thing? I don't know. Oh. We weren't allowed to have it when we were little. It was horrible. Well, I mean, when you're a little kid and you go into a store and you see something called Count Chocula... It's got a little, little cute cartoon character on it, and it's Muppet. a chocolate. Who doesn't want that? But as a kid, I wanted it, of course, and we got it, and it was horrible. You know, there was there was the Count Chocula. There was the Boo Berry. Wasn't there a third? Frankenberry and Boo Berry? I don't know. There was like a whole little... I think there was a trinity of scary, cartoony cereals. But what was your favorite three uh, cereals? Let me... Uh, Get you this what are you here. talking about? We weren't really allowed to have them. Every once in a while, we got Apple Jacks, Apple Jacks. But I mean, I think you don't. It was twice. You can't name three favorite cereals. Two. We didn't have cereal. Uh, oh, you just Captain, had Apple Jacks. Okay, Captain Crunch peanut butter. Oh. I think I got to go to friend's house, and that one and the Crunch Berry. Captain Crunch peanut butter. I forgot about that. There? That is the worst of the Captain Crunches. All right. Well, my anyway, brother, my brother loved the Captain Crunch see, peanut butter. See, he was butter. smart. Oh, I mean, Captain Crunch is awesome, but it leaves you an aftertaste. Well, There's duh. the Captain Crunch aftertaste, and the Captain Crunch peanut butter aftertaste is the worst of all aftertastes. But this is Christmas Day for Buck because yes, you so were comparing this with dun, with dun, 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 dun. Dun. Frosted Flakes. So we're going to do a taste test of this here and see how terrible this is and see if it can be... Well, I mean, this is great. Yeah, I loved sugar. Frosted Flakes yeah, when okay. I was a kid. And it will up your craving for carbs for the next two days. It's already, my, my craving for carbs is already way up. But my favorite three cereals when I was a kid was probably Captain Crunch with the berries. Crunch Berry? Yeah, yeah. That I really like fruity pebbles. Oh yeah. What about Lucky Charms? Lucky Charms, With I didn't all care that for. Marshmallows. I didn't care for oh, that. Okay. No. Crunch berries, uh, frosted flakes, fruity pebbles. Oh my God! Remember honeycomb? I don't think we ever had that. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we're just rambling. You could tell. Nostalgic This week for we're in cereals. Ecuador. <laughs> and uh, we haven't been uh, doing a lot of cooking and stuff. I've been uh, practicing some recipes and we've been doing some different kind of fruit stuff. But 
we don't have great uh, kitchen facilities. In fact, I got these here to make this video and do this uh, taste test, and then we realized we don't have any cereal bowl. It's hilarious. In fact, we don't even have any real spoons. This is our spoon choices. We got Mega Mouth. That's a buck. That's and, a buck spoon. Uh, what is this here? I don't that's know what a, this that's is. That's for stirring your tea or coffee. Yeah, we need a spoon in between, but there are no in between spoons and there are no cereal bowls. So I wonder which spoon Buck will use. They don't get a lot of uh, cereal eaters in here, but they do get a lot of alcoholics. So I'm going to be eating my <laughs> cereal out of what are these things called? Are these called rock glasses? I don't know. I think so. But let's go ahead and take a look at these Picari uh, cornflakes, chocolate cornflakes, and they're organic, right? Did no. I see something? Oh. Premium organic, look yeah. at that. Okay, okay. I feel healthier just holding this bag. Let's move along. But we got things uh, semi-prepared here. And I looked online uh, to see if I could find these so that if we do love them, if we could order them in the US, and I couldn't find them. You don't have to go all the way across. You are an amateur opening these bags. No, no, no. You don't understand. Okay. I'm, I mean, look at this. I've already got my Ziploc ready uh, for storage of these here because we got who knows what kind of critters running around here in Ecuador. But you can't get these online, I don't think, or I couldn't find them. All right. I'll put a link down below to the Pakari Amazon store, which they did have. Because if you want to check out the prices of whatever oh, they do wow. have, and we've been eating... Their coffee chocolate, it's 60% dark chocolate. Yeah, this so, is our favorite. Know. Oh. And you like this one? That one's the new one we're trying. The oh, ginger this one's okay, and chia. the ginger, and but you the like this cardamom. one here. Oh. Oh. Cardamomomomomo. See? Anyway, I really with like coffee. the coffee one. And but we've been eating nuts. this with a, a coffee at the house. That's a bad habit that we've been into what do we eat when we're in the u.s for chocolate what are you talking about the hazelnut dark chocolate you like um whatever's on sale yeah whatever's on sale always tastes better all right but let's do let's the taste go. test of the plain jane without milk the car right. without milk you're not even gonna oh a good crunch gotta give it gotta give it a plus for the crunch it is a very good crunch and you know it's not overly chocolatey yeah it's not terrible chocolatey that's the problem with Count Chocula. What's it's the not, problem? It's not real chocolate. <clears throat> it's just brown colored stuff. And then it just becomes a paste in your mouth. That's, I don't know. That's I'm, because I'm you're for, that's because you're forgiving everything because it's got sugar. But this is pretty good, actually. It's it's not overly chocolatey at all. But it oh it does have a, it does have a little follow through. What is that when you're the aftertaste? When you're drinking fine scotch or uh, something, and it comes from behind. This could be this could be the fine scotch of chocolate cornflakes. Well, okay. Okay, and Camera Girl, being Camera Girl, has gotten almond milk. So this is what I'll have to use to drink out of my rock glass. Oh my gosh. Of chocolate. What? No, nothing. You don't want them to be too soggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you that and was, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cereal is very either. different. Yeah. No, no, no. This is just a hint, a hint of uh, faux dairy. Yeah, but uh, cornflakes okay. don't take much milk to get soggy. No, no, no. That's why you don't. You never want to drown your cornflakes mm. or your flake cereal. You flake in milk. All right. All right. Look see. at that. There's no nuts. There's no dates or mm. cranberries or raisins. It's actually a, it wasn't bad without the, the milk, but it's actually fantastic with the milk. Gee, I'm surprised. Sugar and chocolate. It, it turned into chocolate milk. <laughs> now I'm eating but chocolate sugar. Hold on. It really is Christmas Day for you. Look, I know you're not believing me, but you go ahead and give it a go. Oh, okay. Don't act like this is a chore. Don't act hey. like you don't really want to do this. Hey. My body is not 20 anymore. This is me forcing you to do this, so you don't even have to take responsibility. And they did stay crisp. Well, yeah, well, I just added it. But come on, what's your, what's your honest-to-goodness, unbiased? It is chocolate. I mean, you're <laughs> right, it's not a goo. They did add a little bit of chocolate. It has sugar. It still has a crunch. Look at that. Look at that Picard chocolate cornflakes. You didn't embarrass yourself embarrass yourself of course you didn't well i mean i was i was ready to uh to rag on it pretty hard 
This is actually a very good chocolatey drink in here. I almost wanted to take the cornflakes out and just drink the well, chocolate you, water. Well, you can no. at the end. Now we go back to Buck's childhood. So you, Frosted Flakes was one I of your favorites. I just wanted to buy this because it looks like Frosted Flakes, except it says Zucaritas. Well, it's still Kellogg's, so it's the same And it still stuff. says Tony, although yeah. it should say Antonio. But anyway, come on. If they got Tony on there, if they got Antonio on there, this, this has to just be plain old regular Frosted Flakes. Now I know I'm doing this wrong because I'm going all the way across. Whatever you want. Now we're going to do this here in the rum glass. Okay. Now everybody's had Frosted Flakes. What do you, well they don't all put their hands in the bag. Well that's how you get cereal out. Remember corn well, flakes? Just all plain the, corn flakes? All the things we do differently. Frosted corn flakes? I needed flakes. to know Do you remember things. just eating regular Kellogg's corn flakes and then you get a spoonful of sugar and put it over no. the top? Didn't everybody do that? There's nothing everybody has done. Yeah. But all right, let's go. You, you want to taste it first like you did the other? Oh, yeah, just yeah, to yeah see. I guess. Although I've had this. All right, it's got a crunch. How does that crunch compare to the other crunch? It's exactly the same. Oh, is it? And these are, these are really good. Jeez. I mean, it's coated in sugar. Yeah. I can't believe. Whoa, whoa. I can't believe that I grew up eating these things. I mean, in the United States, well, I mean, nowadays they got child services and all that stuff. They don't take you away for eating cereal for breakfast. I'm saying that those those uh, child services people, they could make their job a lot easier. They could just hang out at the cereal aisle and then follow people home that buy Frosted Flakes and then yank their children oh, out of the house. Oh, my you know, Lord. When That's not the way it works. Because this, this is a mild form of child abuse. I mean, it's very mild. It's probably... What are you talking about? You're it's the probably the least it. abusive of child abuses. Although, peanut butter flavored Captain Crunch. Blah, 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 That's blah, 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 blah. All right, does it bring back memories? Memories. Does it make you nostalgic for your childhood? When you I don't know, it seems somehow crunchier than when I was a kid. Maybe they add more preservatives to make it more crunchy. Yeah, it probably has twice as many preservatives as when I was a kid. Well, they should sell cereal in Home Depot. You could use this as insulation, probably, in your roof. But you're enjoying it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, my Lord, you're having more? No, no, no. I'm going to put some extra crunchy ones in here, because you have to do this here and tell me which you prefer. So this is what I'm having for my um, gluten, whatever. Gluten? Is that gluten-free? Because no, they're corn this flakes? Is... No. What is gluten? There's, Gluten's wheat, right? Yeah, but they have flour in them. Ah, uh, yeah, you're probably right. Mm. <laughs> That's sweet. That's like, wow. Now you're going to rave about this stuff? Wait a minute. They call the calories energy. They're putting a positive spin on there. There you go. But I don't know. You'll have to study that. I'm not going to study it. And see which is better. We're people that go to the... Uh, Go and get coffee, and if we're not careful, we get pastries, and then we pat ourselves. If we're not careful. Now, between the two of these, which did you prefer? I preferred the chocolate because it wasn't a sweet. I thought I was going to end up ragging on this here. Look at that. And I thought, despite this being what it is, I thought this would be the clear winner. But I was wrong. The winner and new reigning champion dun, dun, dun. is bum, 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 whatever this says in Spanish. Yes, I read the back beautiful. of this in Spanish and it just, it seems tastier and more exciting. No, I wouldn't say that. But anyway, I don't know where you can get this. You come to Ecuador, then you can get it. Yeah, I'm sure you can get it somewhere, but in the United States, I don't know. But Picari chocolate is fantastic. Yeah, the chocolate's really good. I'll have a link down below if you want to check out uh, the prices and stuff on that whatnot. In fact, they've won International Chocolate huh? Award. Really? Who gives out the, the, the chocolate awards? Me. Though? It's probably Me, the chocolate I do. people. I do. Uh, but I don't know what kind of video this was. This was uh, us eating a cereal video. This was an excuse for you huh. to eat. That's right. See now, I I can cereals. write I can write the cost of this box of cereal off on my taxes now. 
There you go. Because I'm a business man. I think so. Do they so. still have Life? Was Life a cereal? Oh, of course. Mikey. Oh, that's right. I remember Life. What about I think, Cinnamon Life? I think my mother bought Life one time, and I think we actually threatened to run away. And in fact, I think my mom bought gave it us again. money for bus tickets. But then we said, yeah. nah, we'll just eat the Life. If you want to uh, support us on Patreon, you know, that link's down below. In fact, we're going to switch on over to the Patreon as they say on more successful podcasts. And we're going to have an episode <laughs> of you experimenting the Slowpoke Travel meal. Podcast. Okay. So if you want some bonus stuff, we're just going to keep the camera rolling, and I'm going to make breakfast, and we're going to talk about stuff. Yeah, but anyway, this was a long, drawn-out yes. video, mm -hmm. which is our <laughs> new style. It is your new style, but it you is. can cut it off now. But you've got to evolve. You yeah. know, you've got mm -hmm. to grow. Mm -hmm. You've got to try new things. And you've your battery's dying. You've got to seize life by the horn and wrestle it down and plant your garden. <laughs>